We are speaking with Mr. Tony Ruprecht, MPP for Davenport in Toronto, Ontario. Welcome Mr. Ruprecht and thank you for speaking with us. Um, you have been a friend of the Croatian community for many, many years. Yes. Um, can you tell me how Croats have contributed to the Toronto community over the years? Yes, but let me first of all tell you how I got involved in the Croatian community because at the beginning I was uh, running as a city councillor and uh, the Croatian's uh, desire was to have a street called Croatia in Toronto for many years and they were never successful. So finally what happened, they uh, approached me and I asked them all to come to the city hall but the problem was, was with the school board. The school board said no, they couldn't have that street where the church is on, Our Lady of Croatia Church, right? Mm -hmm. And so finally we were actually successful. We, I took uh, the whole Croatian community with their dresses and even Zrinski, Franco Pan came with their outfits too and they all came in and so uh, we convinced first the school board to say yes to change their mind and then of course we convinced the city of Toronto to change their mind. So uh, that's how I got involved. Oh, that's, I had no idea. Yeah, I was aware know. of the street change, but I had no idea yes. that you had such an important part in yes. that. That uh, is excellent. Yes. That okay. was my first, actually that was my first uh, political good deed that I did in Toronto <laughs> to change that street to Croatia Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I go back a long time. Yes, so that, that was quite a while ago, so yes, you're yeah, still yeah, very yeah. active. That was, in a, that was in 19, uh, 1981, that's I think right, we did that. Yes. 30 years ago. Wow, that's a, yeah. it's just incredible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, um, and you're still very active. You have yeah. many friends in the Croatian Yes, community. and I see them everywhere. It's just amazing that the, uh, that the Croatian community is not a large community like the Chinese that's or right. the South Asians or the Indians. They're a smaller community, yet mm -hmm. you find Croatians everywhere. You find them in the arts, you find them in commerce, you find them in business, you find them, oh, lots, lots of them are found in the building industry too. Oh, of yeah. course, of course, yeah. yes. So uh, you find them in, in, and they're making a big contribution. Uh, for that matter, as you probably know, they're, uh, the, the value, they have a good value system, the Croatians. We need more Croatians here. <laughs> Well, like you said, there's not enough of them, so maybe we can oh. appeal to, uh, they're watching us uh, all over the world. They're yeah, watching us all over the world? They are. No. So, there you go. Maybe okay. we can appeal to them to come to Toronto. Oh, just make sure they see this, right? There you this go. Is the Beautiful Canadian, time. This is Canada, right? We want yes. to make sure that yes. uh, they recognize the maple leaf. And uh, we want more Croats here. How's that? <laughs> it's a good idea. And we have something in common, white and red. So, wow. there you go. <laughs> and our flag as well. Okay, so uh, maybe we can just talk a little bit about um, the uh, raising of the flag and, and how does that process happen uh, in front of the uh, uh, legislative uh, building in Ontario? So normally it's the president of the legislature, which is really the speaker, who makes the decision. And um, I uh, approached him and I've asked him and there's, he's delighted that uh, the Croatian uh, consulate is involved and uh, that uh, they will come here and we will raise the flag together, the community and the, uh, the government. I understand there's a lot of uh, guests are expected from both Croatian and yes. Canadian communities, yeah. so that's excellent. He's the council general, Mr. Matecic, and he is organizing that part of it, yes. and I organize yes. the Canadian side of it. Okay, so, well, that, so uh, what is the importance of, of having the flag uh, of a country in front of the legislative building? Well, it's really important for two good reasons. The first reason is that uh, you're part of the nations and all the nations have come to Toronto. We have, in fact, we have one more consulate here than in New York. Did you know that? It's Toronto. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's Toronto's got more consulates than any place else in the world, in fact, because uh, Washington is different. Washington is the capital city and so it has embassies, but in terms of consulates, this is the place. And the reason why is because uh, we are very multicultural in Canada. The whole world knows about that. We have people from every race and nationality in Toronto. And consequently, it's important that the Croatian community is seen within that context of the international community as being here and having a presence here. Now, the presence of a community can be expressed in many ways. The presence can be that you see, let's say, all black folks on the street at Caravana. And then everybody knows, oh yeah, Caravana is a festival 
of all people from the from the Caribbean that come here that Saturday in August, and the whole Toronto knows. In fact, the whole world knows that that's what they're doing here. And there's there's almost a million people from that section of the community that are coming here, and it's an international festival. But they all know, so they're making a contribution in terms of people know that they're here. And the other part, of course, is in the arts. But there's much competition in the arts. And then films, of course, there's a film festival, this community and that community. So it's important to know who is here and who makes the contribution. If you're not visible, if you're perceived to be in the background, then really, as far as the community here is concerned, and for that matter, the international community of the Croatians outside Toronto, they do not know you even exist, but certainly not here in Toronto. And what you want to do, you want to leave a mark. And that one of the marks was Croatia Street. It's a mark. You open up the city, uh, the city map, and you see Croatia Street. So all the Croatians say, wow, Croatians were here. Yes or no, right? They were here at one time. And they made that possible. So what we want to do is we want to make sure Croats are here. There's the flag. There's the national symbol. So that's one good reason. The other reason is just as important. Branka, you don't know how important it is for Croats who are in Toronto to see the national flag go up. I have seen Croatians when the national flag is being raised. In fact, well, I'm standing here right now, I don't know why, but I'm getting goosebumps all over my body. I don't know why that is right this very minute. That never happens to me normally. But I just, I just got goosebumps all over my body this very minute. And uh, it could be because the Croatian flag goes up. But I tell you, it's important for them. I've seen people cry yes. when the Croatian flag goes up yes. and they sing the national anthem. Yes. And you know why I think this is the case? Because of the Croatian history. Mm -hmm. Because with this flag, it's wrapped up the Croatian history. I mean, the good parts and the suffering parts. The many years of being dominated, the many years of trying to be free of the struggle of freedom, the many years of being under communism, the many years of trying so hard to make a contribution and to, to be Croatians within their own country. And not all is wrapped up when they see the flag goes up as a symbol really of self-expression and of contribution. And that's why people start crying when they see the flag goes up. And they, you know, they remember how many people died you know, in this process of trying to become free and independent. So that's important. Well, thank you very much. You're certainly very passionate about this, and, and yeah. uh, that's why I guess you bring people together with, with your uh, commitment to you know, bringing cultures together and into the city of, uh, of Toronto. So I would like to thank you for your time, and we're certainly yes. off to a good start with the flag raising, and hopefully we'll get more Croats involved and have more events. Yes. So that we're, this is a very uh, auspicious moment. Good. Thank you. Thank you. And normally, much. I'm not that passionate normally. <laughs> passionate about the Croatian flag. <laughs> Well, that is, okay. that is so good to see. Okay. <laughs> nice Thank to you see. very much.